Conservation of momentum. The second and third laws of motion lead to an important conservation law, the law of conservation of momentum. This law is shown in the following example. A bullet is fired from a gun and the force on the bullet by the gun is F. The force on the gun by the bullet is minus F, according to the third law of motion. The two forces act for a common time interval of delta T. According to the second law of motion, F delta T is the change in momentum of the bullet, and negative F delta T is the change in the momentum of the gun. Since initially both are at rest, the change in momentum equals the final momentum for each. If PB is equal to the momentum of the bullet after firing, and PG is the recoil momentum of the gun, then PG is equal to negative PB, or PB plus PG is equal to zero. In other words, the total momentum of the system is conserved, making it an isolated system or a system with no external force. Mutual forces between pairs of particles in a system can cause a change in momentum for individual particles. But since the mutual forces for each pair are equal and opposite, the change in momentum cancels in pairs and the total momentum remains unchanged. This is known as the law of conservation of momentum. It states that the total momentum of an isolated system of interacting particles is conserved.